Okay, the time is um, 1.33 p.m. Eastern, August 27th. Okay, so um, that dead body is just in my hallway, dude. Like always here. It's there. It could be there for weeks. Okay, weeks. Dead bodies have been in here for years, ever since I heard prostitutes being violently killed. Oh, God, I'll never forget it. I know I have to get counseling for this. I know that. But when you're a witness to violent homicide and terrorism, I don't exactly want to put my counselor in jeopardy. Where are these agents... Where are the proper authorities? Because the lack of their presence puts me and everybody in jeopardy. And I know they know that. This is so egregious. So tyrannical what Biden and Trump are doing. All right. The entire hallway on floor two reeks of a corpse. I did all those fucking dishes, okay? After I was hit with so much chemical gas, how could a person possibly ever forget something like that? It's hard enough to watch on YouTube what I go through. I'll never forget what they did here to my physical body, to my emotional and psychological well-being, remembering a woman gargle, whimper as she was killed thrashing of feet, fighting for life. These were really evil humans. She was not a nice woman, but anybody with a conscience and an ego and a id, a psyche, an ego and an id, anybody with their marbles working feels empathy for someone being that violently killed over your head in the room above yours. Anybody, and I still do, and I have never got over it, and I, I won't until I talk to a counselor about it, and I work it out, and I know that. The fact that I'm faced with eviction court, and I'm supposed to go as a defendant, a defendant, might I add you, against the people involved with these murderers here, pressing charges against me. I don't know how to approach this or wrap my head around that. The fact that a judge in the civil courthouse would take that case, that 30-day eviction notice is questionable. I don't know the uh, authenticity of that. I'd have to look up the forms that are actually issued to DC residents. That's not hard to do, but I'm not going to. I have an attorney I will obtain. The attorney can tell me right away if this is valid, if it's filed from out of state, another county, how valid this is, Did the, like what is going on here? And I can't withhold the felony crimes I have witnessed in here ever since I moved in. I can't not include that in the civil tenant court case. The fact I'm sitting here alone trying to piece this together is cruel. I'm still by myself in here. There's a corpse stuffed under the floor outside my bedroom door. I know it's precisely where it is. This is still going on and on and on. They're back with this crazy crap they do under the floorboards in my room. They're back. I can't say how long they've been doing that since they've returned. But there's nobody in here and there's people ripping it up under the floors again. So no, this never stopped. Absolutely no, it did not. I gotta include this in the civil court case. What kind of position am I in? I I don't even know where to start. I got on my knees. I got my crucifix out. I got on my knees and I prayed for help from God. I learned to do that in recovery. Getting sober was the best thing I ever did. I have to mention this on the public internet. 
And this is a perfect time when you don't know what to do. And you're totally heartbroken to ask God for help. And you, I just got on my knees because I'm, I'm in trouble. He gave me some strong guidance. He doesn't want me to talk about it online. I won't. I got up off my knees and asked Mother Mary and God, the Father, for some guidance. I'm alone and I really need someone, something, anything to help me. And I found God was here for me in this house where I smell dead bodies. God never left my side. There are dead corpses stashed all over in this house. I am not wondering that and I don't need to argue a case with validity. It's been founded. This is what they're doing in here. It has been founded that they have the, the district courts and they have the police officers in this city protecting them to do it here. Nobody's wondering that. I'm not wondering that. What I'm wondering, which takes more expertise than I have, and what the public is wondering, which is more than likely the same reason, is how these cubby holes work. What are they dragging under the floors? Why are they doing that? What are they poisoning me with? What kind of gas is this? Where is it coming from? Again, why are they gassing me like that? What did I do to deserve this? Why won't anyone tell me anything? Another thing the public would like to know, and I do too, why does mail come here every day to people who don't live here? Why are all the utility bills in the names of people who do not live here? There is not one person on the utility bills that lives in this house. I know, and then I'm being told I owe money for these utility bills. Okay, I know all that. This is crazy here. It's more than crazy, it's scary. Okay, in my guidance, God told me I could say this on the internet. I kind of have to, it's not kind of, let me rephrase this. In my guidance, God told me I could say this on the internet, but I have to start going offline. I can't be on the internet filming and filming and filming today. The videos have to stop at some point. That was my guidance. As alone and, let me say again. As alone as I feel and as hard as that is, I have to sit here by myself and not film anything and just be completely freaked out. Every time I leave my bedroom door, I smell this moldy, poopy, rotten meat, dead body, just getting more and more and more. And the steam is coming. The heat is coming. The steam room with the dead corpses is back. Everything is back. Um... He told me to say to the public that I will, at some point, while I'm still here, film the other crawl spaces that are easily easy to find. Easy to find. I can put some of these on the internet. I can go into those really scary rooms, the dungeon rooms that look like crime scenes, dude. They look like movie props, and they're not. They're, it's a federal crime scene. This, this crime scene obviously links to Trump. I'm certain of it. Oh, yeah. And Kamala Harris, yeah. And individuals, there's individuals in the Department of Justice. It's, I'm certain of it. It links to them. So no matter what, this will never be raided, properly investigated. Anyone will ever be questioned. Nothing will happen. It's just, I'm still here. It's all that happens every day. And the gas that they're using on me is really, really serious. The pain and suffering I'm going through, and then I'm just supposed to leave here destitute onto the sidewalk. Yeah, well, they're terrorists. They chop up bodies. What do I think they want? They want humanity and human rights? I know. Okay, I know. 
All right. The only other thing I'm supposed to report to the good guys who are aware of this terror cell. I washed all my dishes, so I was in the bathroom for a considerable amount of time. Towards the last five minutes of running the water in my bathtub, human urine stench began to flow all up from the drain of the bathtub, going into the bathroom, and I'm 5'9", all up to my height and all over into the toilet area. More human urine mixed with that dissolvent stench. So whatever they do here, I have witnessed it, they separate the urine, the feces, and you smell the blood. It is so terrifying what I survived in here. And I honestly don't know if anyone will ever come in. I can't say that that appears to be the case. It appears to be that I'm going to court with these people. This is going to be just unbelievable. I don't know how to walk into that courtroom with a judge at a bench and all the, the benches behind him. I'm supposed to sit there. Um, so, wow. I mean, this is really hard for me to wrap my head around. And is Thelma Hogue or someone going to come and resent? They have to come. They have to appear. They have to represent the house. And what kind of attorney am I going to have? What kind of sadistic games is a attorney going to play? They can't. And I know that. If they want to practice law, they can't. Okay. So what I'm supposed to say, sorry, good guys, let me close with this and stop. So the report is clear and you can understand what I'm trying to say. The urine is coming up from the drains of the bathtub. It's not coming up, it's the stench mixed with human dissolvent for the human remains. It's that chemical stench with a really strong urine stench, which I've reported forever what they do here. And every time, ever since, I was being chemically poisoned with gas. So that's at least a handful of hours, like four hours. And we're talking morning to afternoon. Every time you stand by that drain in my bathroom, that sink, bathroom sink. Every time. I mean, it's like clockwork. It takes a matter of two seconds. And you run the water that burning chemical stench that I've been reporting, that I reported Thelma Hogue, who just now formally sanctioned me to court. I reported she was in here with the burning chemical stench. 95% of the time when she was physically visible, ID'd and witnessed in here, that chemical stench, burning chemical stench. That burning chemical stench is coming up on a threshold from my bathroom sink at a one through five at a four. So the stench of burning chemical is overwhelming at a stench level four coming from my bathroom sink. That is also where I have witnessed blood underneath my bathroom sink. And now it's just this inferno. It's basically an inferno of the strangest burning chemical stench I have never smelled until I lived in this terrace cell, which I've reported all over here. When the terrorists are active and there's dead bodies. So I'm piecing together it has something to do with the corpses, but I'm not an expert in this matter. So these are questions that proper authorities have to answer. And today, I just don't know if I'll ever get those answers. How am I supposed to leave here needing counseling and there's this whole train, a whole train of people in jeopardy with anything I say once I leave here? How am I supposed to tell anybody about this without putting them in jeopardy too, dude? This is why I got on my hands and knees and prayed. Because this is bigger than me, and I don't know what to do. I'm going to keep reporting this terrorist cell 
You motherfucker dirty cops. Enjoy it. So you got a dead body in the hallway right outside of my door without any doubt. It stinks so bad. And it's steamy, steamy, steamy. You got human urine with chemical dissolvent raging like an inferno up from the drain of my bathtub. And you got this massive, unidentifiable, burning chemical stench that has been there for over four hours. Just inferno out of my bathroom sink drain where I also saw blood either rat blood or human blood underneath my sink goodbye